Hi guys, this is Bill DeRosa from Talking Finger and today we're going to show you how to create a Facebook fan page. First thing I want you to do is be logged in as your profile here, Let's see William DeRosa, and what you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, you'll see at the bottom here it says create a fan page or create a page. This is at the bottom of every page on Facebook for the most part here. So, simply just click on it, create a page, and you get some choices here. Pick whichever one best represents you, and the difference between them is there's just a couple of little different fields, like local business or place will have store hours available, company organization has a mission statement, etc. So whichever one fits you best, that's the one you would choose. The catch-all, or the one, if you're not sure, this one here is the one I typically recommend to people. It gives you the most fields, and it just seems to be the one that gives you everything you kind of need click on there now every step I'm gonna go through here is basically the same like I said there's just a couple of different fields the first thing you do is choose a category now find whatever represents you best it's a it's a little bit of a watered down list but that's okay see if you can find something the two catch-alls are company and small business so if you can't find something that describes you pretty well choose one of those two and I'm gonna choose company and the name of my company is going to be Bill's Wakeboard Shop. All right, and what you need to do here is click here. Now, the Facebook terms basically saying that you, you are the owner of this business. So you're not going to use this Facebook page to, to um, spam people, things like that. So simply click Get Started. Takes a couple seconds, and it will load up. All right, so the first step they're going to want you to do is to upload an image. Now, this is your logo, basically, or an image that represents your company. I'm going to click here, upload an image, go to desktop. Now, obviously, every computer is different, so wherever you house your files, your, your logos, pictures, that's what you would want to grab. There we go. And there's the logo or the uh, image I'm going to use for my fan page here. It's Bill's Wakeboard Shop, so... Click continue. Now, this is the step that's kind of silly. Facebook step two wants you to get fans already. Invite friends, import contacts, share page, like this page. You haven't even built your page yet. I suggest skipping this whole section right here only because um, typically I want to have the page built and have a little bit of content on it before I introduce it to people. So I would just skip this step. Skip it. Now, basic information. If you have an outside website, that you want people to also know about. This is where you would type that in. So let's say, uh, for now, I'm just going to put my talking finger website. I don't have a wakeboard shop site, but um, this is where you would add that. This is the important section here about. This section right here is pretty prominent on your Facebook page. So you need to put a really good description here. And you'll see it's 255 characters. It says right there. Um, so you do want to fill that up as much as possible, and it needs to be relevant. A quick synopsis of who you are and what you do. In my case, I'm just going to do this for brevity. Obviously, you would fill this out, and then simply click continue. And that's the basics of building your page. Now, you'll see the steps here. Invite your friends. Again, don't do this yet. You always have the option to do that later by clicking on this tab. Tell your fans, same thing, post status updates, promote this on your website. You'll see all these different steps here. I want you to skip all of those for right now because I, we still need to populate it. What I want you to do is go up to the upper right-hand corner. It says edit page. And again, don't like your page yet because once you like it, all your friends are going to see that you liked it and will want to come here. So click edit page. And we're going to skip right down to basic information over here. This is where you fill out all the information about your fan page. Now, fill out of as much of this as possible, okay? Community page, don't worry about that. And if you hover over these, okay, that will give you some explanations of what each thing is. So anything on Facebook, if you hover over these, they give you some information. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, but fill it out as much as you can all the way down to the bottom. The one important aspect I want you to realize is you can put as many websites as you want, and I encourage you, the more outbound and inbound links you have between networks, uh, websites, things like that, it does help with SEO. So you do want to fill this out. So, And as many as websites as you want to put, simply put a comma, a space, 
and then start the next one. And it's important to do the HTTP forward slash colon forward slash www. Uh, this is more search engine friendly. So fill this out, and again, as many as you want, just put a comma space and then the next website. And then when you're all done, make sure you click Save Changes. Okay. Some of these other settings here, I'm not going to go over because this is just basically creating your fan page. Any of this stuff, feel free to come onto our wall and ask questions. Our company is Talking Finger. Uh, people post continually on here all different questions about Facebook, social media marketing, things like that. So feel free. It's simply facebook.com forward slash Talking Finger. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.